A few years ago, Ron Kleeman was in the market for a reliable family car that was good for the environment. After a lot of research, like an increasing number of Canadians, he decided on an electric car and locked into a four-year lease for a BMW i3, a 2014. It was the first uh, fully electric car that was kind of lower in a more affordable price range. So for my needs, this car, as advertised, filled all the, all the needs that I required of a vehicle. Right away, he noticed the vehicle couldn't travel the distance on a single battery charge. BMW claimed it could on its online ads. That distance is an electric car's equivalent to gas mileage. I remember the car I bought you know, going up to 200 kilometers. When Kleeman took us for a drive in his electric car, he made it a short one. Where does it say um, how many, how far you can go? So right there. 105, so you're yeah. always watching that. Oh yeah. <laughs> to see when you're gonna run out of power. Yeah, yeah. Internet archives show 11 months after he ordered the car, the company changed its online ad, reducing the distance the car could travel from a maximum of 200 to 160 kilometers. That's a 20% decrease. The company didn't notify drivers or people who had already purchased or leased the car. By that time, the luxury car maker was selling a 2014 and a 2015 version of the i3. The website, though, didn't differentiate between the two, but the vehicles are almost identical. They're trying to sweep it under the rug and I mean it was clearly false advertising. They acknowledged that it was false advertising when they corrected themselves. BMW Canada won't say why it changed its ads. It did say driver behavior, weather and onboard features can impact battery range. And that information is also in a disclaimer on its website. Canada's Competition Bureau says it's up to the automaker to make sure its ads are clear. Important information should never be buried in fine print or disclaimers. Um, if you're going to rely on uh, performance claims, then ensure you have adequate and proper tests in place prior to making those representations. BMW did offer Kleeman $5,000 towards the purchase of a new car as a goodwill gesture. He declined, though, saying he isn't interested in another BMW. Rosa Marcatelli, CBC News, Calgary. If you are looking to go the distance with this story, you'll want to park your browser on our website. Rosa has a piece there with more on this particular driver's experience dealing with BMW, and she gets an expert's take on testing electric vehicles. It's up for you online now at cbcnews.ca.